Excellent. <laughs> Welcome to an all new episode of GV. Uh, no, what do we want to call this? Much to do about something. That's what we'll call it. <laughs> Much to do so about good. something. <laughs> See, I get all flustered when we have emergency pods, <laughs> but that's what happens. It seems like the world's burning around you, right? Uh, yeah. So, welcome to an all new episode fine, of fine, Much to Do About fine. Something. This one, right? That's why I said, bro, we need to be, we need to do like an ABC News of geekdom. Yeah. Like, like, like picture you in the middle of watching a football game and then we pop up and it's like, DC is at it again. Uh, but no, <laughs> we are here to break down. Yeah, you got to subscribe to see it. We will interrupt your regular schedule program. Oh, they would hate it because we would ramble for like three hours. They would go, it won't stop. Uh, but anyway, we are here to break down uh, the Hollywood Reporter, right, Joel? That was who whose exclusive Reporter. it was. Exclusive. Hollywood's Reporter's yeah. exclusive. Broke the internet. Yes. Essentially that DC might be breaking itself down completely to rebuild itself back up. I thought that was the best way to say it, so it didn't make it sound like Warner Brothers was crumbling, the world was ending. No. It's just essentially tearing down to yes. build back up, right? Uh, uh, um, the main universe, yes. Right, right, right. Um, so we're going to break down everything. But before we jump into it, I want to introduce my panel, starting off with Joel. What's up, Joel? What up, dog? It's craziness that's happening. That's what's up. Uh, <laughs> Trayvon. <sighs> what's going on, Trayvon? Um, you know, I'm uh, surprised to be here right now. But, you know, we're here. And we're going to talk surprised? about Surprised? Yeah, because that was um, going to be um, oh, got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. I thought but, you. But, I'm yeah. sorry. I thought you meant surprised that that I invited you to to join. I'm like, why would you be surprised at it? No, I, no, of no, course, no. I would you, invite you. You could continue to sleep. I mean, uh, you're, you're not <laughs> you're not I just figured, Trayvon, if I didn't reach out to you, you would have yelled at me tomorrow because you would have thought that I purposely left you out. So I told Joel, I said, I I met I messaged Trayvon. He hasn't answered yet. Let me double check before we get started. Um, and AJ was just like a eh, whatever. He agrees with me, so he's okay to be on. Uh, <laughs> what's going on, AJ? God is real. God is real. All right. Uh, it sounded like the second one was God is Israel, but okay. Uh, <laughs> and he is me. And he is. All right. Me. All right. Shut up, AJ. All right. So, Joel, do me a favor because you uh, you are the person I look to to always do this for us. Give us a rundown, essentially, of what this breaking news was before we just kind of jump into it and break it down. All right, look. So this is what happened. You see that title? <laughs> <laughs> Patty Jenkins, one one three, not moving forward as DC movie hits turning point. That's how I took it. I didn't read the article at first, you know. I read, like, all right, I see what they did. They canceled it. Uh, uh, they're just, there's pretty much... What happened was, it starts out. This is this is how they started the article. Like, hey, Wonder Woman three is not going to go forward because they have different plans in mind. So that, that, that script that they turned in is a, this is obviously different than what they have planned going forward. So uh, I think the key words were, oh, damn, I fucking texted it out earlier. It's not I'll go a little bit lower if you can. Uh, let's see if I find it. But point is, um. They just basically were going in a different direction, so that, like that script's null and void. But it didn't; it wasn't clear that they weren't going forward with Gal anymore. One of them. It's just that that yeah. that story is not whatever they're planning is not. Patty Jenkins' version of the movie is not. Uh, and then it just kind of there it is. It says not moving forward and is considered dead in its current incarnation. The current incarnation means the current script is dead, right? So that right. means, and I figured that made sense because, like, it literally says in the same article that they're going to present, I think next week, mm -hmm. to that seven them their their plan, right? right? Hmm. So that's, that's real soon, and I'm like, you can't greenlit shit <laughs> if they don't fit into the plan, right? Right. The, the whole point is that you're gonna have a plan. So this, it wasn't even that shocking. I was a little, a little disappointed, but at the same time, I know what the future. I thought. I knew what the future held, so I was like, whatever, I get it. Well, let me ask back. this, Joel. Let, let me mm -hmm. ask this really quickly. 
for for the people out there. Is it fair to say that since none of this came from James or Peter or David, that we shouldn't take it as gospel till after we start here? Because we know James yeah. loves to talk. No, absolutely not. No, don't take it as gospel. But also, okay. where well, there's smoke. <laughs> oh, for sure. For sure. James hasn't said anything to debunk it, though. He has a good life. Yeah, I mean, he hasn't. He's been quiet. Again, <laughs> that's why I said, to me, I don't know how to take that because he's never quiet, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't know that that's a good thing or a bad thing because the man will come out and tell you if it is true. The man will come out and tell you if it's not true. Right. So I'm like, I, I, I don't know how to take it other than the only thing I told you, Joel, that led me to believe that almost 100% of this is true is the fact that the stars of these characters today or to, or, or yesterday, but to, between yesterday and today, came out and were kind of glowing about where they see their characters going forward, right? right. So I'm like, well, if they just came out and said that and then this came out, there might be a possibility that the actors said that because they have no idea what the fuck James is going to do. So they're still going under... Well, yeah, I still have a movie planned, right? Like, yeah, we're, we're still supposed to be working on something. So I just wanted to add that in for people that are like, well, no one said anything yet from, from Warner Brothers. True. Again, this you can take however you want. But I just wanted to put that out there for, for you know, the skeptics that are like, no one from Warner Brothers said anything yet. Well, fair, because they also don't have James Gunn's plan yet. So there's really right. nothing to say until after they see it. And then they're like, I bless it. Go ahead and blow the whole thing up and start over. But I'm sorry, Joe. I just wanted to put that out there for the you know the skeptical people that are like, I, I, I'll wait till Warner Brothers says it. Okay, you can. Yeah, you think, Warner Brothers had no it. comment on it today. So right. Yeah. Would they you say, sleep. Trayvon? They sleep. <laughs> Fair. Would you <laughs> say, Trayvon? I was saying maybe, I mean, maybe they have talked to someone and they just put that, like, their little article or their little thing out just to brace everybody like okay tomorrow you're gonna see this mm -hmm. but i'm still wonder woman <laughs> so like you know just my whatever the next chapter is i didn't say the next chapter with patty i said the next chapter so maybe she knows that it won't be with patty maybe she just you know that's what like, i think also that's what yeah, i think also maybe that's i wouldn't I to me i would say this if that's the case then i kind of feel like if you're the hollywood reporter something like this is very dangerous for your publication oh, um, because this kind of is just like jumping out there essentially yeah. saying they're wiping the whole thing off the map right yeah. so it's like if you well, jump out there they're not kinda, saying it well that's not what they're saying though. that's right. right they're not saying that's saying it's a possibility <laughs> uh, that's one of the options is what they're saying uh, there's other options there's several options on the table that is one of the options. They can completely go full reboot. Is one of the options. Is what they're saying. Mm -hmm. And the problem is, is that THR said that it's a possibility, and then you're hearing from other people saying that seems like a like the likely direction, but we really don't know yet. You know, we don't. But you know, and I won't say the full name, but Joel, you'll know who I'm talking about. Daniel seems to believe that it's going more full reboot uh, than anything not the else. only one. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm like, if I see him saying that, and obviously uh, a few other people that we follow, but if I see him saying that, part of me is kind of like, well, it might be, you know, might be. Uh, but right. go ahead, Joel, uh, finish this off before we we start to to kind of dissect this a little bit. Um, we also found out that Henry Cavill did shoot a scene for the Flash, so there is a scene with him in it, and apparently the studios. They don't know what they, if they want to keep it in the movie or not. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess the same issue that happened with Bruce in the Aquaman movie. They, mm -hmm. they as of right now, he's not in the movie. Right. Neither version of, of Bruce Wayne. Uh, but Henry Cavill currently is in the in the Flash movie, but in small in a small cameo type of capacity. Mm -hmm. And we don't know what the and we don't know if he's going to still be in it by the end of it. You know. They might cut him out, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see, because we don't know what direction the, the universe is truly going in. Um, so that's the issue. It's not, like even Black Adam is not safe <laughs> right now. Uh, nothing, <laughs> nothing is safe uh, from this reboot. Uh, if 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 it happens, um, apparently Mike DeLuca and and Abdi were okay with 
going out with the the, the, the characters we have, the, the actors in place, and going forward. You know, right. like the Snyderverse adopted character right. uh, actor characters, right? Um, but as of right now, we don't know if James Gunn's plan. If he did, like, I don't know if he's gonna fully recast because that we've heard the big, the craziest thing that I've heard is that it'll be the end of Aquaman, and then Jason Momoa, the actor, will transition from Aquaman to possibly playing Lobo in a new universe. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, is that's the craziest thing I've heard today? Sounds great. And if that if that counts for him, what what stops other actors from playing different characters in this new universe? Nothing, nothing. But to me, that's a hard sell. For whoever you decide to be the new Aquaman. Oh yeah. You know that's why it, I, that's why I feel like it, you would need a time. <laughs> for, all right, new Aquaman. Well, you need a break because you just finished this Aquaman movie. If you're gonna sell a new Aquaman to two people, you need you need to give it time before you choose the new Aquaman. Well, a good okay. thing about that so, is Aquaman. Go ahead, AJ. Oh. No, 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 go ahead. Thing, a good thing about that is that Aquaman, he's important. In the DC universe, but to get started with, he's really yeah. not that important. Right. At the same time. So it's fine that we don't get him to begin with anyway, because we have more characters to start off with. That's more important than Aquaman, if that makes sense. Yeah. The the pushback that I said I had for you, Joel, uh, before we, we, we started recording was, to me, Aquaman and Wonder Woman, you don't have to stress about the pushback of recasting them only because if you guys feel that that's a tough pill to swallow for the audience for those two, the fuck do you think it's going to be to recast Superman again? <laughs> so I'm like, and you have to start your universe with Batman and Superman. There's no yeah, way around that. That's a bit, to me, that's easier than doing Aquaman and Wonder Woman because they're literally been established. Those mm-hmm. are the, those like we have, there is no question. About who the fuck Wonder Woman and Aquaman is. We've been questioning Superman and Batman for like eight years, it feels like. Right. But to an audience, they just saw Superman. Literally just saw him. They li- that's beyond <laughs> ridiculous. But, and he just came out and said, I'm back to Superman. Too. Right. Exactly. Made a whole video. So that's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. You'll have an audience that can accept Wonder Woman and Aquaman at this point, right? They can accept that. It's the could... Superman angle no, no, no. that I you're going to have to sell them on. I think if they could accept fucking Wonder Woman and Aquaman, they could accept Superman. Oh, no, no. That that was my point. So I'm saying it'll be easier for Aquaman and Wonder Woman because Superman is the one that you got to tell people, ignore what you literally just literally saw. <laughs> There's a new Superman that in town. That seems so counterproductive. Because <laughs> I'm like, because AJ, you're not wrong with Aquaman, but I ho- and I'm not saying that you said this, but I wholeheartedly disagree with Wonder Woman. She has to be as important as Superman yeah. and Batman. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When you that, start I, your new I, I was just Kennedy. specifically talking about Aquaman. Yeah. No, no. So I'm saying I know you yeah, weren't saying that. Her. Right. But I'm yeah. saying that has – yeah. can I be honest with you? I kind of would prefer for them to be casted together. Not in the same movie, but when you cast, cast the three of them together. That way you get it all out of the way now. You get it all out of the way now. Everyone, you know, either shits themselves or or, or they're uh, elated, but it's. Well, are you are you talking about if the if it's all recasting? Right, if you're rebooting okay. the whole universe, right? Just cast yeah. the three of them but all at once, so it's just my done. biggest issue with the reboot. One, my one issue, mm-hmm. aside from like you're you're taking away everybody, which is sad for me. For me, as someone that's still attached to most, all of them, <laughs> um, it doesn't answer the Batman question because you still have the Batman. Mm-hmm. Robert Pattinson and Batman. Right. So what what is this new Batman then? See, that was my thing when I was this like, Go ahead, Trevor. I'm sorry. Uh, I was saying I made like a you know kind of a joke but not a real good like if they force him to make it a universe, what if he leaves? What if Matt Reeves like I don't want to do that. But again, I, I think James Gunn if if again they are rebooting, I think he can tell Matt Reeves what me and Joel have been saying since the day Matt Reeves took the job and Ben left. You putting your Batman in the DC universe does not affect what you're doing in your solo Batman movies. No one's asking you to put Superman in it. No one's asking you to put Wonder Woman in it, Martian Manhunter, Aquaman, Amanda Waller. No one's asking you to strip what you want to do to make it a whole, right? All we're asking you to do is just, hey, 
we're going to use him for other things, but we don't have to use other things for your movies. Go ahead, Trayvon. I, I, I disagree. I think once you do that, you're going to get more references. news tomorrow. There need to be some references in there. No, 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 no. You're confusing me. Bruce saying to Alfred as they're as they're trying to figure out where the Riddler is, like I can't worry about Superman right now. I got to focus on the Riddler. To me, that does not take away from your story narratively at all. Just mentioning the name. I'm talking about Matt Reeves was acting like back then when he took the job. Just the sheer mention of a Superman in his universe would fuck up everything, and that's why I'm saying that's ridiculous. So that should not be hard to sell to him. And if it is. Guess what? I never thought I'd see the day where Ben isn't Batman anymore. Shit happened. I got over it. I will get over it if Matt Reeves doesn't like this and decides to move on. I'll get over it. Will I like it? Not a fucking bit. I just I'll get over it. Out, I've been saying this for the longest time. And Juwan over here has been saying, no. No. What? Saying what? Enough. Matt Reeves, Batman, most likely will be part of the DC Universe. Well, no, I only base it off of, like I said last time we spoke, AJ, I base it off of you just gave him an overall deal that we 100% believed meant he gets to do whatever the fuck he wants to do with his Batman. Now, again, now that James and Peter are in the fray, that could throw all things off, right? Mm -hmm. So I relent to your point. But at the point, at the time when we were discussing it, you just gave him an overall deal to essentially do whatever the fuck he wants to. uh, So he scratches your back, you scratch his. When I saw that, first thing I thought is, well, he started greenlighting villain projects. So I'm like, clearly, that does not have to be part of whatever they're doing. It could still live on it to be its own thing. So if now we're talking about James Gunn and Peter are now in the fray and they want to reboot everything and bring it in, I have no arguments to your point. But at the time we were discussing it, I think that was a good point of, Man just signed an overall deal and just started greenlighting shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's not hard with to the, believe. The, that. To be fair, they did say that Matt Reeves would have full control over that right specific universe. Yeah, no, right. It says it in this article. Go to the bottom. Go to the bottom. Go to the bottom. Right. So that's why I'm saying it's not out of the realm of possibility to believe that in that handshake deal was don't fuck with me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't fuck with me and I won't fuck with you. There you Simple go. as that. Now, if it changes, I have no arguments. But again, you're not wrong, AJ. And if I said you were, my apologies. But at the time, I think I was speaking more so to you don't sign a deal like that and then they, they handcuff you. Like that, that to me didn't make any sense. But go ahead, Joel. I'll kick it back to you. No, I, I'm just going by what it says here. You know, it says, look at the, at the bottom, it says, one part of the gun saffron agenda seems likely not to touch, at least for now, is the bat the Matt Reeves Batman universe, in which Robert Hinton Don's Kyle Cape Shooter. Reeves is writing the sequel to the Batman, which opened on March 4th. The film is also overseeing the launch of two Batman series that spin out of this movie, including the penguin. <sighs> for now. <laughs> is what he said. Nothing's off the table, is what the thing is, right? So we don't know what the plan is. And the the point is, that's what we've been saying for years. Mm-hmm. At the very least, we know there is going to be a plan. As soon as next week, we got to see if Zabzalov likes it. Right. <laughs> and then if we, we go from there. And then hopefully we'll get to know. The thing is, they're going to shepherd the next four movies, right? Into mm-hmm. the next, into the next, whatever the fuck DC becomes. Right. It's either going to be a soft reboot, as we expected, or it's going to be a fucking hard one. <laughs> that's that's really the, the two those are the two options right now. Right. Well, I, I'll say this. I'll say this uh, to your point, AJ. I have no interest in if you do a hard reboot, you making Bruce Wayne ninety again. No interest. If you hard reboot this universe, he needs to be as young as the rest of the the heroes. Like Superman wasn't old. Wonder Woman wasn't old. Aquaman wasn't old. Like, she didn't look old. She was no, 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 no. You know what I mean? Like the, the <laughs> casting, the casting of said actors Super weren't weren't true. meant to be old. Um, no, 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 no. So I'm saying I have no interest in that. None. You hard reboot. You hard reboot. You hard you reboot the right. You way. hard the reboot the right years. way. Wait, okay. say it again, Trayvon. You want them to be the, in like the first couple of years of their character, not twenty years down the line, like this Batman was. Uh, well, yeah. What well, uh, what I'm essentially saying, yes. Let me let me answer you first, so it doesn't sound like I'm being sarcastic. You, yes. 
but I also don't want to hear that you spent 40 or 20 years fighting crime that I could never see. Like, I, yeah, I don't want you telling that. me you yeah, did that. that. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, and he made it sound so much fun, too. Like, yeah, fighting the penguin and all. It's like, you think I wanted to hear that? I wanted to see it. Well, that, that makes <laughs> what Matt Reeves is do, doing right now so perfect for the DCU. If we're going by what you're saying right now. I would love it. But yeah. Wait, say it again, Angie. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. I didn't catch that. The thing, um, the thing that Matt Reeves is doing is that he's basically showing everything, timeline-wise, what Batman's up to, what Gotham is up to. Mm-hmm. That's perfect for the DC. I should say DC. The DC universe, the way that you're ex- trying to explain it, it's perfect for that situation of what Matt Reeves is doing, and then making it combine with the next universe universe planned out. So hopefully I will happens. say I will say to Trayvon's point, uh well not necessarily your point, but to what you were saying, the one thing that might be a saving grace for all of us to where we don't have to worry about this if they do indeed re- a hard reboot. Robert Pattinson, that entire uh press run for the Batman kept saying me and Matt would often talk about what a Superman would look like right. in this universe. But, Joel, you know the mistake Robert kept making? And I don't think this was a mistake when uh, he and Matt were, were talking. I think it was a mistake on the way Robert conveyed it to the, the media. But he kept saying it the way that we kept correcting Trayvon with. We kept saying, you're not trying to figure out how to put Superman in Batman's world. You're trying to figure out how to add your Batman to a DC universe. So it's not like you got to now, does my Superman have to be dark and... Br- no, 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 no. That was a problem we faced with the last regime. You don't add characters to a specific other character as if that character owns the universe. The universe is an entity, right? You're just adding everyone to that entity. So the fact that he, he was saying he and Matt were even going back and forth about the idea of like using a Superman or anything like that, clearly Robert Pattinson wants his Batman to be ingratiated with well, other heroes. It seems to be open to it. <laughs> And right, like, right. If that's the case, I mean, look it. I would be more than fine if they were to integrate the Batman into this. And the idea of the Batman being the beginning of a new universe the whole time would be, that would be great. Yeah, yeah, because that I love that movie, so it works. <laughs> um, right. It's a perfect movie to start off with because it, it is the beginning of a new Batman. It's a year two Batman. It's like, and it doesn't touch, and you don't have to touch on other heroes. Yeah, you let him and look. Matt Reeves never has to talk about any other fucking superhero he doesn't want to. He doesn't. But <laughs> again, Joel, does, it could be something. Does, no, Trayvon. I think what you keep forgetting is <laughs> it could be something as simple as he turns on the TV and it's a ticker at the bottom. He's reading the newspaper. It's a headline in the front. No one is saying you have to, as you're writing your story, figure out how to write yeah. in a whole Justice League. Like, no, yeah. it could just be an Easter egg. You know what I'm saying? I can't tell you how many times since uh, Thor. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, since Spider Man, the last Spider Man came out, New Spider-Man. Asgard has been acknowledged from just a ticker at the bottom of a fucking screen. <laughs> like yeah. it, it's they do it, man. It could be done. It could be done. But we've already seen New Asgard, so that's fine. no. I get you, but I'll even give you a better example. And, and even though he was introduced in another movie again before, I keep going back to Black Panther. Black Panther, until the end of that movie, did not have to shoehorn in in, in, in any Avengers or any Avengers storyline. The movie's focus was just about the lore of the Black Panther, right? Now, you had some dialogue about the events of Civil War, and then you're in credit scene. That's really all you have to do. It's not hard, is all I'm saying. That's yeah, all I'm saying. They make it sound very difficult. But it <laughs> right, right. They make it sound like it's trigonometry. It's not. There's a very look, easy look way to at, do it. Look at Iron Man, for example. The first Iron Man. The first introduction into the MCU. Mm-hmm. The thing that John Favreau fo- focused on focused on most of all was the importance of the story of itself, not the entire universe. Right. The end credit okay. scene was just an add-on to it. But the entire film was just a huge character study of right. Iron Man. 
right. much like what Batman, the Batman is. It's just a huge character study of the Batman. So right. it's a great, great way to introduce other things down the line. I like, mean, even so, Trayvon, don't forget Wonder Woman. Remember, the only connective tissue to that, if you did not see BVS, was the beginning of that movie when she opened up the, the gift and it said, from Bruce. And you're like, oh, yeah, okay, Bruce Wayne, cool. The rest of that movie was just Wonder Woman. <laughs> like, it was just Wonder I, Woman. That's it. I get, I get what you're trying to say, but I can't. I saw BBS. So it's like, for me, I so? saw her already. No, so I like, get you, but I'm in, saying. In there with them. What did you so. see of Wonder Woman that was driving a narrative of the rest of that universe? That's my question to you. Because you're making it sound like in order to do a sequel to the Batman that's in the DC universe, you have to focus on the DC universe. But we've seen DC movies not do that, that are in a connected I mean, universe. I, I mean, I saw people get so upset about we had Man of Steel that was focused on just Superman. And then next movie we got, Batman was, to me, perfectly inserted. To me, the way they showed him why he was there, why he'd be upset. I thought it was cool. Where I was like, oh, I don't like how they shoehorn Batman in. I was like, well, you just say you want, you just say you like that the movie is specifically on one character, and then the next or whatever the next time you see him, they like get the other character was here the whole time. Like, mm -hmm. like so what what like what is the like what is the problem? Our argument like for Batman and BBS was that he was fucking there exactly the whole time, and we didn't <laughs> see any of that whole time. That was our issue. He was already right. eighty years How old by the time issue? we started. You just said you, but you just said you. Probably my problem wasn't Batman, Batman being in the movie. My problem was Batman being sixty years old. Right. That was my okay. issue. Right. Oh. Right. Yeah, Batman being in that movie to me wasn't an issue. I will say when I first heard the news, I was excited and then a little disappointed because I was more so wanting a sequel to Man of Steel than you immediately start. Because remember one of the remember Joel, one of the first names it was going to be given was Dawn of Justice, and I'm like, in your second movie, <laughs> like they were, what? They were definitely. Wait, it was that was the main problem. Yeah, wasn't it called it BVS Dawn of Justice? Yeah, it was. Yeah, I only remember it being called Batman v Superman. Oh my god! Yeah, so then, yeah, it goes even deeper yeah, to what my issue with that was. Yeah. Um, but it wasn't the idea of Batman being inserted. It was more so just like you seem to be moving pretty quickly. But it's again, Trayvon, that goes to my point. Already. I'm not asking. I'm not asking Matt Reeves to put Superman in his sequel. That's right. what I'm trying no, to convey no, yeah. to you. I'm just saying you can allude to the fact that other heroes exist in the world, but I don't have to see them. And I didn't I mean, mind that it happened. I did, definitely okay. did not mind at all Batman being in, and like, because to me, I looked at it as a, a duo, like a, a team up movie, right? right. Not right. necessarily a Man of Steel too. It was just like a, a team up movie. Mm -hmm. And now this movie ended up being more focused on Batman and Superman. Right. <laughs> but um, at the end of the day, my issues with his choice for Batman was only because he made him so old already, and that's because they wanted to emulate Dark Knight Returns. And right. well, right. yeah. But so to get back to the to the headline itself, to me, I kind of feel like I, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. I now that obviously we've gone through this, you guys have made it very clear what it says and what it does not say. I'm going to be honest from after reading this, I'm, I'm siding with AJ. I'm siding with AJ. I just don't want to think about it anymore. I want the hardest fucking reboot you can give me. <laughs> I mean, the hardest reboot you can give me. Because it's just the idea of, I I don't want, I just re-ingratiated myself with Henry. And it's like, I told myself I wouldn't do that after Ben did this shit. And it happened, it possibly could happen again. And it's like, I'm, I'm tired of the, the push and pull. I'd much rather new faces, new places. Let's start from scratch. <laughs> Let's do it. You know what well, I'm that saying? That's funny that you say that because I'm actually a little bit more into the middle now, more so than anything. <laughs> Goodness <laughs> gracious, AJ. I mean, what? <laughs> like, okay. okay. What? Just, just hear me. Explain Look, yourself. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just, just hear me out. Just hear I got me. you. I got you. <laughs> so I do want a, like a full, deep reboot, but mm. not with the actors and actresses. I want a full, deep reboot with the story itself, with the story, the mythology, and all of that itself away from Zack Snyder's story, world, all of that. But you can still keep the same actors. Oh, so then just actors. a soft reboot. 
I'm fine with either. Yeah. I prefer the Oh, okay. You know? Okay, then yeah, it's just a soft uh, but, but of course there will be some some um recastings like Ezra Miller. Maybe uh Well that's you know. not that's not a reboot issue. That's a he can't fucking stay out of trouble, so let's move on from it. Yeah, but I'm I'm also mentioning Jason PR Momoa a switch <laughs> off with Jason Momoa away from Aquaman and make him Lobo. Oh, if we do okay. Lobo, yeah. I'm gonna say this: if I'm soft that. rebooting, yeah, I'm I not changing it. That, yeah. No, I that's a hard that. reboot kind of move. If I'm soft rebooting, I'm not playing musical chairs with with my act because then it's so confusing. I, that's I feel like they're doing right now. I, I feel like that's what they're doing right now. But to me, see. I could. Because to me, it's hard for... Because I always think of it like this, right? Mm-hmm. I have family that are casually interested in the comic book world, right? Mm-hmm. So if you make decisions that make it hard for me to convey what you're doing to the unknown, you're fucking up. You need to put something that's very simplistic enough for me to go, they just rebooted everything. That Aquaman does not exist anymore. That Wonder Woman doesn't exist anymore. That's why he looks like that guy now, right? But when you soft reboot it, and they're like, well, wait a minute. That Superman's the same. That Batman's the same. That Wonder Woman's the same. But now he's not Aquaman. Like well, you know, that's what I'm saying? why I say there that it's no not Aquaman. just the, it's not the characters. It's the entire story. So well, none of that story, story, none really. of the stories really exist within that universe. No, I get you, but just you're saying that you're saying that. Well, no, you have to do Aquaman. No, you don't. You can't take you can't take Aquaman completely out of the it's the Justice man. League. Oh, you no, not. no. Bring in Martha. Um, we'll yeah, but Trayvon, it's not addiction by subtraction. Yeah, you don't have to make him look, you can't do that. Just do it. But you so watched you Justice Aquaman. League Unlimited growing up, Trayvon. <laughs> you watched the Justice League be 90 million people, and you're talking about subtracting fully? Yeah, you could just add, add on. Yeah, just the cartoon no, did that. I don't need that in my, in my real life. If you want to do Lobo, you could just. Do Lobo. It does not have to be Jason Momoa. He agreed to be Aquaman. So the only way he can get out of Aquaman, in my opinion, I'm not in control of anything, just my opinion, you got to hard reboot this shit. A soft reboot and put one of your, your title characters in a, in a different role, but keep I'll, everything else the same. I'll accept That's it. weird. It'll be fine for me. I, and I, I don't argue that, but I'm saying for continuity purposes... <laughs> That's very confusing for your general audience. But there is no continuity. Confusing. What I'm saying is right oh, now, shit. there is no continuity within it. The, there's nothing in the DC universe right now. There's no mythology at all. But you still can keep the same actors and actresses. And you can still flip-flop some of those actors into another role. Because yeah. those other stories from the past does not exist at all. I get you, but I'm saying to your general audience, they don't care about the stories. They care about, I just saw him holding a fucking trident. Now he's riding a motorcycle? That's weird. Now, they'll, get they'll, get they'll, get they'll get over it real yes, quick. They'll get over it real quick. But that's not that's not the <laughs> argument I'm making, that they'll, that they'll get over it or not. It's that you're confusing it, and there's just no need. Just hard reboot the shit, and then you can do whatever you want. But to soft reboot it and play musical chairs? Because then what if Gail Gadot comes out and is like, I've always wanted to be uh, fucking Granny Goodness. Now she's Granny Goodness, and we're just like, that makes goodness. sense. <laughs> then that's not a soft reboot. <laughs> that's not a soft reboot. <laughs> Why go from a big seven character to support a different, like, a lesson? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. To me, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. Movie right there, just end it with, like, a big white flag. I mean, they got, like, that's what they're going to do. And then... <laughs> Edge was gone, somebody else in the place, and uh, Jason Moore is now logo, and we just move on. <laughs> okay, you know what? You know what? Let, let me let me let me play devil's advocate here. Okay, let me play devil's advocate here. AJ, if that's what you and Trayvon want, fine. Then my argument to that is you cannot cast Jason Momoa as Lobo till you've casted your new Aquaman. That's fair. There we go. It's confusing, Trayvon. It's confusing. It'll be fine. Like, you say that, but if they if they it'll, come, look, out, it'll be if they come out and give him if they come out and give him Lobo now, that means they're just gonna green light it and do a Lobo movie sooner rather than later. You can't have him as Lobo come out before your Aquaman comes out. I mean, I'm sorry, before your Aquaman is casted. For Batman to be uh, beside a Superman, it's gonna be weird there too. So I was like, whatever. Embrace all the weirdness. No, because here's the difference. 
It's you're you're still, doing addition by playing. subtraction. There is no Batman in the DC universe right now, Trayvon. You'd only be adding in a Batman. You're talking about, you specifically are talking about eliminating Aquaman altogether. <laughs> That's not addition by subtraction. I'm just saying there's confusion all around here. So. I'm saying that if you're a general audience <laughs> member and taking a universe with no Batman and plugging in a Batman confuses you, that to me is a way different problem than you seeing a guy as Aquaman and now he is riding on a fucking motorcycle. That is drastically different. I don't give a Also, <laughs> he, he, he won't he won't be he won't look like Jason Momoa oh, to be honest. Say, though. He's, he's gonna be in makeup. Yeah. Sure. No, sure, but would we uh, would we have felt that way if, if Josh Jay Brolin Dean? was Cable and Thanos in the same exact no, universe? Right. But the difference is, is that I can they live created they look very, they look Thanos to look like they do. Josh Brolin. But it's the idea of he's still the same person. All I'm saying is, if that's what you guys want, no problem. It's just before you cast him as Lobo, you should cast your new Aquaman. Okay, who was the? It was Car- What's her name? Karen Gillian. What's, what's Karen Gillian? Yeah, Karen yeah. Gillian. She, yeah, she, she was two. The she played two characters. Nobody knew who she was until they actually looked up the character's name in IMDb. While they were watching the movies, they did not notice at all. So mm-hmm. it could still work within this. Now, my question to you is, AJ, and then we're going to move on. Has Karen Gillian ever been a title fucking character? No. No. So that's not the same thing. That's not a good example. <laughs> like Jason Momoa would be walking the red carpet as Lobo, as the guy playing Lobo. Who was she other than Nebula, though? She was, um, I, I forgot her name, but she was also in Captain America. She wasn't Captain America. I don't doubt it. No, that that, that makes sense. Marvel, sorry. No, 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 no. no. no, no. You're thinking no, Jimmy Chan. You're thinking Jimmy Chan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Jimmy Chan. Yeah, Jimmy Chan. Nerva and Jimmy yeah. Chan. Yeah, Jimmy Chan. Uh, yeah, she was a small role in Captain Marvel. Yeah. And she then a title Marvel. role in Eternals. Right. Yeah. So that that's where the difference comes very from. very different. You can barely tell. Right. Yeah. right. And the role was so small in Captain Marvel right. that it's not like, well, you're now a title character going to another title character. Was it Captain yeah, it was Captain Marvel. Was it? it was Jimmy Chan. It was Jimmy. It was Wait, Jimmy say that again, Trayvon. I won't say she was that small. She did fight her. It's not that like she was just in the background somewhere. But Trayvon, if you as a general character. audience member, could they point <laughs> out when they saw Jimmy Chan in that movie? They could not. <laughs> they could not. There's a difference. Remember yeah, that, but... there's a difference. Now Eternals is different. She was pretty much a title character in that. Movie. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So that's different. So for me, I'm saying I personally would want a a hard reboot. AJ, you said you want somewhere in the middle that does some kind of craziness, but also tries to make it make sense. Hard reboot, but okay. I, I I'm fine with a complete hard reboot either way as well. So either way, I'm completely cool with it. Yeah. I just I, I'll say it's this. I'll say this. And, and you you wait. Say it again, Trevor. It's screwed to do a hard reboot. They screw. They're screwed. What do you mean? If they Bring Henry Cavill back, and then they now they re recast that character. God bless. <laughs> but, but the eyes well, DC Universe is screwed because Henry Cavill's not going to come back. If they me. do that and then don't do it, <laughs> Let, let's get one thing right. First of all, the only bad. people complaining will bad. complain about that are people on Twitter, and that's a okay. very okay. minor. Well, <laughs> I, I, I will that. always, I will also remind you, Trayvon, okay. that the goal was to not have a Superman at all. And the internet had to yeah. live with that. <laughs> so getting a yeah, Superman, yeah, it's just like not that. the actor you want. We almost right. had no Superman. Right. So, so I'm like, Superman. and the world would have had to live with that. So I'm like, the difference is now is you're you getting a Superman, Superman. It's just not Henry Cavill. And again, to be fair, be to be fair, you were, as an audience member, you were in this position only four months ago. <laughs> right? The idea of him coming back is recent. You know what I'm saying? Or the confirmation yeah. of him coming back is recent. Literally. So again, also, Henry Cavill is not leaving. He's he's staying for sure, for sure. It, well, I don't think any of us are arguing that. Yeah. What we're arguing is is we have no idea if that's what James wants. That's what we're saying. No, he he wants that. And they okay. wouldn't have not. They wouldn't have brought that up in Black Adam or any of the um news. That stuff. was before James got his job, though. H. No, that was after too. They still talked about it after. 
No, no, no. And I'm sure he did. And I'm sure he did because I'm sure David and Henry were on the same page. But now that you hired two people to to be the Kevin Feige, if James doesn't want him, he's not back. I'm not saying Henry doesn't want to do it. That's all I'm saying. And I'm not even trying to speak that into existence. I'm just saying the whole point of this article was to essentially tell us we have no fucking idea what James wants to do, what James and Peter want to do. That's all no, I'm saying. They have a plan. We'll find out in a week. <laughs> if it leaks, we'll find out in a week. <laughs> no, that shit gonna leak. That's gonna that's gonna leak real fast. As soon as the news comes out, leak. <laughs> that's how I'm telling you. Look at this know. crazy <laughs> motherfucker. Let me tell me this and that. <laughs> yeah, like I said, Trayvon, I don't necessarily disagree with you. I'm just saying, um, I, I don't know what he wants. So what I will not do is get my heart set on anything for the possibility of it to be broken again. I'm just I not going to say that I am James Gunn and whatever I said goes, so it's going to happen. Okay. Well, no one believed that, but okay. <laughs> uh, and Javon, how good are you next? After actually reading this article and getting the gist of what, uh, what the headlines are and everything, what would you like to see the direction of DCB? Soft reboot? Keep it the same, blend it, hard reboot. What would you like to see them do? Um, if they're not gonna soft reboot, uh, like I still want, I still want the same actors. If they don't soft reboot, I do not want. I don't, I don't, I don't uh, subscribe to the leave the Batman universe alone <clears throat> and reboot everybody else. If you're gonna do it, everybody go, and I mean Robert Pattinson as well. So that's how but he's not part of that universe. I don't care. I want, <laughs> I want, the, I want everybody gone. Ba- the ba- I want a new Batman. New what, about new what about Joker? Everybody. What about Joker? Everybody gone. Everything. Everything gone. Joaquin <laughs> Phoenix is gone too? Yep. Damn. <laughs> I, don't wanna, I don't want to see that shit nowhere. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Everything gone. Yep. Yeah. All of it. So. So are you saying you want a hard reboot? Is that what you're saying? Keep or you want actor, things to stay keep, the same? Keep, keep the actors that you have right now. Or everybody go. I, I don't want no half ass. Oh, we're gonna keep Rob Pattinson there and Henry Cavill's gone. Fuck that. Everybody gone. But now they're not even Rob in the Batman. same universe. I, I literally just said that, AJ. It's still, a <laughs> it's, still a, it's still a Batman. It's still a whole Batman. It's still not computing with Trayvon. That's not the same universe. <laughs> I, I was just, I was, I was just You're wondering. You're hiring somebody that ain't got shit to do with that. To keep that work at no. Nope. But Trayvon, you're, you're saying it. You're saying it as if. We are asking to fire everybody. I don't think anyone's asking that is for that. It's a hard reboot. That's fired everybody. No, 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 no. Hear me out. If in an ideal world you could keep everything you have and just blend everything together, create an entirely new narrative for these characters and move forward, I'd sleep fine at night. I'd sleep fine at night. But my problem is, is that too many things seem to be. You now have to pitch a whole new narrative. Yeah. Right. And you now have to get a room full of writers, directors, everybody all on the same page. What might be easier is to just start anew. But Robert Pattinson is not part of that old regime, is what I'm trying to say. He's not part of the DC uh DCEU. So if you reboot him, what are you rebooting? You're not gonna still give Matt Reeves his own universe. <laughs> <laughs> so at that point, there's only one universe now that doesn't you're exist be- anymore. You're better off just in, uh, like including him in the new boot, the new reboot, right? So in the reboot, right. Batman, right. So. right? Right, Because to the world, when you say get rid of <laughs> get rid of Batman and everything, they would go, "Yeah, didn't they do that? Isn't Ben gone?" Look, <laughs> like- <laughs> mind just wants Static Shock to start the DC universe. Okay, there you go. That's how you started. Oh, already, I'm already. Uh, that's that's not what happened. So. It's fine. That's it. Never. Never is a strong word, but here we go. Well, again, I will say this, Trayvon. With James Gunn's tweets of people like um fuck from uh from he was on Arrow. Talk about all the gorillas. No, I'm not talking about that. He was on Arrow, Joel. He braided his hair so goddamn fast. Mr. Terrific. Yes. If James Gunn has any interest in that (laughs) character. Why wouldn't he want to do something with Static Shock? To me, I, I believe Static Shock is part of it. Know. I just I just think you have to think realistically. If you're starting a new, Static Shock cannot be one of the, the first few of the new you're doing. 
It, it's just weird. My Trayvon. issue it's just weird. Shot is will they keep him in the DCU or will it be a, a separate like Dakota verse movie? I think you keep him in, but I think it makes more sense to introduce Black Lightning first, the and then Static. And I don't it think you static. have to if it's going to be separate. But oh no, if it's going to be separate, then no. But no, Trayvon, that's not the same question for Blue Beetle. If to me, it is. I no, Joel. In there. What I'm saying is, Joel said that because DC, DC does not full out own Static Shock. Static belongs to a different co- technically. No, right. It does not belong. Yeah, Milestone. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's and why they, Joel was saying that. Yeah, and and they've talked about doing their own shit. That's why right. I'm like, it might not be included in this. I don't know. Uh, it might now because they want to connect everything. So right. But that's why he was saying that. So Blue Beetle will only connect or not connect if James, if that's what James has on par with what he wants to do. Because I will feel like, are you going to have your movie? But then what would Broody ever say? Wait, let me ask you real quick. Did we ever know who George Lopez was playing in that movie? His uncle. Okay, okay. Because I just saw an interview today where he's like, no one knows this, but I'm playing the uncle in it. And it was just like, yeah. did I know that? Because I sent it to Trayvon and I'm like, I don't know if I knew that or not. I don't know if I did. He was saying it like it was breaking news. And I was like, I don't know I if I knew that or not. They have, um, let me see. They have all the names. <laughs> like, oh, no, I don't doubt you. I just didn't remember it. <laughs> so, yeah. um, the only person I don't know, I don't know who Harvey Guillen is playing. Oh, okay. That's yeah, it. I don't, I don't I do know. I do not know. His li- literally, George Lopez is listed as Uncle Rudy. Oh, <laughs> there you go. He, <laughs> Trayvon, you saw it. He was saying it like it was breaking news. Like, ain't nobody know that. And it was like, well, it's not. Um, what was I going to say? So, so Trayvon, I, I think – I don't think anyone necessarily disagrees with you. I think you just have to have realistic expectations for where characters are placed. Um, and you have to understand that the first seven movies should be 100% your Justice League members. Those should be your first seven movies. And then you can explore past that. You can explore past like your 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 eighth movie could be Static Shock if you wanted to, and I'd have no fucking problems. But your first seven should be very much steering in the direction of we're building towards the Justice League properly, and then you can start doing shit. Or even if you wanted to, Static Shock could have an HBO Max show that you then blend in into the main universe. I have no problem with that. No problem. Movie show, no problem. But your first seven has to be your Justice League. Has to be. We fucking just saw the Avengers do it. Why would you do that any differently? We saw you trying to do it differently. Got all fucked up. Just do it the right way. That's all I'm saying. So I'm with you that Static Shock should be ingratiated. You just got to be realistic. Before the fucking Justice League. Come on, Trayvon. (laughs) Like, Come on, man. Before the Justice League, you won Static? No, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. on. Um, He could die. That's his own personal choice. I don't think it's a smart choice, I but care it's more it's more about Static Shock than I'm just just right now. Well, that's and what I mean. I don't, that's, that's, I don't that's fault that. I don't fault that whatsoever. You're prerogative as a human being. It's, it's a opinion. static agenda, right? No, um, it's, just, it's his opinion. So I, I, you could feel that way. I, if you're building a DC universe, no. I'm just but, for, uh, something that's been announced already that I haven't heard shit about. That's my problem. So. Well, like I said, it's not even the Warner Brothers side that was working on it. It was right. Well, you know, it's still being released by them. I mean, yo, yo tweet it. Well, it's it's it's, it's, it's a parent. It's a parent off. company, though, Trayvon. It's a parent company, meaning Warner Brothers is essentially your bankroll. So they're like, well, once you get everything figured out, you give it to me, and then I essentially put it out. If you're going to be mad at something, be mad at the fact this company can't figure out what the fuck they're doing. And that's right. why you don't have. And I will remind you, Trayvon, that since Static was announced, they've gone through essentially three different regimes. <laughs> essentially, three different regimes. They were in one, and like, yeah, they've been through basically. It's, so you got to kind of be patient, you know. Right. You got to kind of be patient. Again, you your love for a character that is a secondary character is where your faults lie because it's a secondary character. You got to introduce the first, uh, the primary characters first. And then that's when you dive in into your secondary characters. So it's just it's just a pecking order. That's it. But, I, but don't get it wrong. I don't think any of us believe that static should be ignored. We just want our Justice League first, and then you can bring on the babies. You know, <laughs> I mean, cause shit, if I had my way, it'd just be Batman and Robin the first two movies, and whatever else. The fuck you'll else. you'll get that. <laughs> that's, that's the point. You'll always get that because Batman <sighs> is a primary character. That's the only difference. 
Um, but all right, so Trayvon, you're kind of in the middle, more so just static agenda, but more so keep everybody that we got and you know, don't 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 stir things up too much, right? Yeah, I like the actors. Okay. I do want to also stress, I think we all like the actors. It's just the stress that comes with keeping this regime of actors <laughs> seems to be unrelenting. That's my biggest thing. Just get up off of it, you know? Um, but, Joel, you can speak more so to that, uh, given your opinion on what you'd like to see. I, I kind of feel, you know what I kind of feel with these actors right now in the DCEU? Is that they're kind of like, they're kind of like a really good head coach, but the head coach has now lost the locker room. Right. And it's like, you're a really good guy. We love you. You're great at X's and O's. But it's just they're not responding to you well anymore. <laughs> so it's like, it might be time to just start a new. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's my only issue is that they're phenomenal actors. It's just they're attached to something that if you continue that legacy, will never will never dwindle away. It'll only grow, grow more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's my biggest issue. But what would you like to see? Soft reboot, hard reboot. Where would you like to see them go? Soft would be my preference, and that's only because I don't want to lose a lot of these actors. You okay. know, they, they put invested so much time in them, and so many, especially the actors next year. So many people getting their sequels next year, or characters starting their own movie and Blue Beetle next year. Uh, I don't want to lose them. The same, you know, knowing that it'll be a hard reboot. It just well, I don't, I don't can really... I ask you something real quick? Would you yeah. consider Blue Beetle if they rebooted old, like the old regime? Because it essentially oh, right now, yeah. Okay, okay, no problem. Yeah. I only ask that because if it's they like... want to integrate it, sure, but because I was gonna say it's such a new character to the DC universe, so essentially wipe him out as if he was here this whole entire time. It's like, well, goddamn, especially if. James Gunn, let's say James Gunn says that Blue Beetle's gone, right? But I plan on doing a Blue Beetle. Well, that makes no sense. You have a Blue yeah, Beetle already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, why no. would you wipe it completely it off the depends board? Depends on how they what they do with it, right? Like if they're saying, "Oh, well, Blue Beetle is going to be the first movie in our new universe, or one of the right. first movies in our new," that's different. Then I'm not hopeful they integrated. At least we're starting with somebody, or like, and, well, maybe. I do want to say, because I know people listening are going to go, well, Juwan, isn't that the same thing with the other actors? The no. only difference is, no is keeping Blue movie. Beetle right. You can, you can literally, right after this movie, structure Blue Beetle's story however you want. It, it's mm -hmm. its first movie. It just started. Mm -hmm. All these other characters, and I know AJ's thinking to himself, fuck the story, get rid of it. I get it, but to a general audience, that's a lot harder. That's, that's a lot harder. To just say, same character, same actors, same characters, but everything else is gone. Forget about yeah. it. You know? So that's what I'm saying. It's easier for a character you just introduced. It's yeah, fresh. It's be tough. Especially Shazam, apparently, because apparently she's, Wonder Woman might be in Shazam. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's like... Say it like, again. Say we can get rid of Shazam. You can get no, out of I, it. I don't want to get rid of Shazam. <laughs> I, I really think Shazam is, is a good addition. Now, I don't need him to be one of my seven. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. Don't do that shit again. Fucking New 52. Um, but I damn sure do want him that was part of... Made a movie. That was, yeah. Maybe we gotta yell at Ernie a little bit more. Mm. Uh, but uh, I definitely want Shazam part of my DC universe going forward. You don't have to keep the same actor, but the character damn sure should live on. That The, the character at, at shouldn't be sidelined. Yeah, of course. Yeah, shouldn't um, be sidelined. It's very frustrating because it's like... I, um, to fully reboot would take them out. Like, uh, if you want to look, if you're looking for a character like, uh, like a static shock, it'll take longer to get there if you do a full reboot, like a hard reboot. Mm -hmm. You got to reestablish everything all over again now. Right. Now they can integrate him in earlier than they they never did before because there was really no no structure, <laughs> so they were just throwing shit at the wall. Um, but we don't know. We don't know what the plan is. Like. Once, like, once he has uh, he has his plan, I think that's why it's important, and that's why I'll be okay with a hard reboot because I think this is what the universe needs is a full, mm -hmm. just plan. It's just cleaner if it's a full, like, a hard reboot than it, with a soft reboot. But I think it can be done with a soft reboot, so you don't have to. So you can still keep, you know, the money makers, the face, the actors that were already established as certain characters, 
And now Batman will be weird integrating this new Batman into whatever you, you do with this universe. But um, I'll, I'll learn to live with that. You know, that's, that's something I can figure out. But Man. honestly, the best route is to possibly the, the cleanest route is to just hard reboot with the, the Batman, in my opinion, is the best way to do it. And even the, maybe even the Blue Beetle, just those two characters. You know what I mean? I right. will make an argument for a hard reboot as well. What Juwan, uh, not Juwan, Joel was saying, um, Zazlab would love this. If they actually do a hard reboot, like take away all the actors and actresses, that'll, that'll bring down the cost a whole bunch as well. Oh, yeah. So budgetary wise, that will be perfect in his eyes. Um, yeah. I just yeah. saw this. Uh, we just posted this on Twitter. That Patty Jenkins reportedly was told her current script doesn't align with what DC Studios is planning for the future. Uh, there was speculation that maybe the film could move forward under a different direction. But uh, IndieWire says that Jenkins has no interest in rewriting the script. Oh, well. That's good good because I'm about to say we kind of said all that except yeah. for that last part. Yeah, well, I just wanted to read it in its in, in its entirety because yeah. uh, it was supposedly coming from someone else. So I wanted to give the whole excerpt that we we posted. Well, the last part um, was not in this article, so right, right. Interesting. Um, <laughs> if that's the case, I mean, AJ, we heard that was her issue with Kathleen. <laughs> was yeah. essentially the script she had for Rogue Squadron did not fit in with what Kathleen wanted to do, and she essentially said, "Well, go fuck yourself." And it was like, well, all right, well, so we're not putting your movie out. <laughs> to AJ's point that he's right, it would be cheaper just rebooting all the characters because they're you'll now start with young, different characters, probably fresh faces, they won't mm -hmm. cost as much. Yeah. The same thing with the directors, you know what I mean? That's fair. Well, I will say this the, the one thing that shouldn't be an issue for David if uh, cost is his issue is that if you have one streamlined plan and these movies are good you'll almost quadruple the money you spent to pay these fucking actors. It'll essentially wash itself. You know, that's only a problem if these movies underperform and you're paying Ben Affleck $200 million to be Batman yeah. and the movie only makes $80 million. That's the only issue. But if the movies perform the way that they should, paying actors should never be an issue if the movie performs well. You know what I'm saying? Um, luckily for The Rock, he put up most of the money for Black Adam. So it's like, whatever we lost or gain, that's, that's, that's mine. So, you know, <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> I go home with that at night. Um, but for me, that should, that shouldn't be a, that shouldn't be a sense of importance. Cause if that is, then I, I start to lose confidence in, in, in David. Cause if David's issue is, damn, I don't want to keep paying these, these big, uh, big name actors. To me, that means you don't have faith in these movies doing well enough. For that to just not be an issue. I mean, if you're gonna be that cheap, maybe Warner Brothers is not the place. For you. That's what I was gonna say. Maybe, <laughs> maybe trying to utilize some of the biggest IPs, or, or the biggest, mm -hmm. I, one of the biggest IPs in the comic book world. Maybe that's is not what you should be doing. This is not. This is not your area of expertise. Do you? I mean, I think I saw like I don't know somewhere if it was someone maybe it might sell DC. Then it would ever be interesting for that to happen? Any of y'all ever thought that would happen? I think like, if you're David, I think if you're David, um, I don't think your shareholders let you do that because you sell it and whoever buys it, it makes it a trillion dollar investment. Your investors will look at you, and that is the quickest way to get fired. <laughs> it's for your investors to go. You don't want to be part is... of the regime that sold. That sold DC. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be part of that. You don't want to be part of that. You don't want to be part of that. Yeah. Place it could go. That would be a Bob Iger type of deal right there. Yeah. I wanted, right. to, go, I wanted to go to Apple. If you went to Apple, that'd be cool. And I'm saying, Trayvon, that'll give them. A I would have felt that way. I would have felt that <laughs> way under the idea. old regime. But in this new regime, I just want to give them time to formulate something that plan. works. What is you know, um, because again, selling what you're saying, Trayvon, sounds simple, but that's the kind of move that gets people fired, right? Because if, well, yeah. if you sell it yeah, to yeah, Apple sure. and yeah. Apple makes it a trillion dollar investment, yeah, your shareholders are looking at you like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> like, we can't just keep putting out Godzilla vs. King Kong movies. Like, <laughs> we ain't got no Harry Potter right now. You just sold DC. What the fuck else we got? We're just going to do 90 Game so of Thrones? I mean, that's working out for them. Say it again. Say it again, Javon. 
They had just licensed Harry Potter to Amazon. And DC no, I don't think so. To Amazon. DC animated, yes. I don't think Man, Harry Potter. Harry Potter as well. I tell you what, we'll know Trayvon. We'll, we'll know if Harry Potter leaves HBO Max to go to Amazon. We'll know. We'll know then. But to me, there's no way. David just said he wants to do more Harry Potter stuff. So I, I can't imagine he sold it off to Amazon if he's talking Not about sold, doing more. Like, you know, leasing or whatever. Licensed? I don't think you want to do that either. I think if you ask Stan Lee, would would he have licensed those characters back then? <laughs> if he could redo it, he would say no, no, not at all. Marvel, not at all. Marvel. Well, Mar- no, Marvel, Marvel, yes, you yes. But I'm and, saying, have some, and now they're still fighting to get some of that shit back. <laughs> right, just the last little crumbs of it. They're they're, they're well, fighting to get back. Right now, no, no, no. I get why they did that, but I'm saying, looking back, they might have said, well, "Fuck it, we might have to weather this storm though." <laughs> like, <laughs> We might have to stick this shit out. I just, I just hope DC, you know, they do figure it out because they do literally have access to every single one of their characters. They do. So it's like that's why it's frustrating. You have no, yes. you have no push. Nobody like to <laughs> ask, like, can I use this character? You can't. Right. So it's like, yeah. So I just want to see what they do. Hopefully, they have a good plan. Again, next, I, and if it's next week, that's awesome. That'd be good for us to finally know something. That doesn't mean we will. That just means James is telling David. That doesn't mean we'll get the information. I want us yeah. to know shit. It doesn't mean it won't leak. Because if, if this article is true, if this article is true, that means this information leaked. So it's possible it leaks. But no, James isn't going to come out and tell us uh, next week. I think that's too soon. I think you want to maybe wait till closer to when some of these movies next year start coming out. Because uh, if you tell us now and then you got to change shit, that is a great way to start off in a horrible direction. Well, like I said, it could, <laughs> it could be a distraction for them, whatever they're doing to this app. If it's true, they're going to call it Max or whatever. They're well, I don't That's think I after saw. I don't think after a report like this comes out, anything can really distract you outside of telling people what you want to do with DC going forward. I think that's the best way to kind of weather the storm. Um, but I'm glad we were all very level-headed. No one was hitting panic buttons. No one was jumping off the deep end it's very much just i think we all want what's best for dc and we just want we just want somebody that's willing to stand on what they said right so if you want to reboot you can't flip-flop on that shit you reboot it you reboot it and that's the end of it or you soft reboot it or you keep it the same way you can't keep flip-flopping bro we've just been at this shit for too long we just have we we really have whatever they come up with give them the money Slasher, whatever name is, that's law. Don't don't push back. Just just give them all the money to ask for, because <laughs> these movies need the money <laughs> to look good. Please, like <laughs> out of seed to budget stuff. And please don't do that to these movies. Don't do it to these characters. Please give them the money. <laughs> all right, we'll um, because I will yeah, no, that. I'm with you there. I'm with <laughs> you there. But also, when you say that, Trayvon, also remember in the back of your head, you also do not need outside of a Justice League movie a massive budget for any of these characters. None of these characters need a massive budget. You just don't. You don't. Especially if you're starting the universe with Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. You do not need a colossal budget. Very Maybe simple. Not one Batman, fine. but Superman, Wonder Woman. You also do not need a need colossal money. budget. Need money. You need money, but obviously, you got to you know how to use your money right, too. Right. Because, again, your money should be utilized more so on his abilities is flying, yeah, and then whoever your villain is. Yeah. But you also don't have to make your villain another superpowered being. You can find other ways around it. Um, so there's ways to do it. Sure. But alright. I'm glad we formulated uh, you know, this this uh, you know, this meeting of the minds, right? <laughs> this is a good way to kind of get out our thoughts. You know, very cathartic, right? And like I said, I will never panic for anything that's said with DC anymore because I refuse to give them my heart. They just, they can't have it anymore. So whatever you want to do, that's what you want to do. I will only state what I would like to see. But if you do the opposite, I'm not mad. I'm, I'm just not. I'm just not. Uh, Joel was with me in those dark Ben Affleck days. And those were, that's probably the, the saddest I've ever been from something that wasn't directly affecting my life. <laughs> so I'm not allowing myself to go down down that that hallway again. No, thank you. So whatever you do, James, I'm on board. Can't wait for Guardians. Can't wait for your new regime as co-head of DC. Um, just make it good, bro. 
That's all I ask. Whatever you choose to do, make it good, man. We need DC to do well. We we really do. We really I'm do. Another Black Adam. Wait, say okay, it again. Let's not do that. <laughs> I can't hear what he said. What did he say? What'd you say? Stop talking about Black. He making fun of Black Adam. Like, don't do that. Black Adam is fun. I really don't. I really don't. I still don't understand why people dislike that movie either. so much. I, don't I really don't understand. Fun, no, hold on, hold on. It is a fun movie, okay? Mm-hmm. But it's just not a good movie. I don't necessarily disagree with that, but what's wrong with being just a fun movie? <laughs> like, that, that what's, we need what's wrong both. with that? We need both. That's and probably I'm, one of the biggest issues with the origin as well. Suicide Squad was no, fun. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. I and thought Suicide Squad from its from, from its developmental stage. If that was always your plan to put that out, it was bad from the jump. Look, Black Adam. I don't think anything was bad about that movie. I really don't. Like, I know some people thought it was too cheesy. Cool. I don't mind that. Like, to me, I had a really good time. I'll tell you this. I felt a lot better leaving Black Adam than I ever have leaving those fucking Venom movies. That's for damn sure. That's yeah, for goddamn sure. Are God awful. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I keep trying to remind people. I, I I feel like I've seen bad movies, and Black Adam does not fit under that category. It was not a bad. And I'm not saying you're saying that, AJ. I'm just saying, to me, I had a great time. Saw it twice. Wouldn't have minded if we saw it a third time. I had a really fun time. That's all I'm saying. And if they want to green light a sequel, I just I just say to that, unless you're doing the Shazam family versus the Black Adam family, don't do a sequel. <laughs> Find a way to do an event film. You say don't Black Adam family? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, Am no. I wrong, Joel? Didn't he have a didn't he have a team? Give powers to the kid. Yeah. They, Black they, Adam? He can't. <laughs> no, but he did in the comics, though, right? Black, there is a Black Adam film, yeah. Oh, okay, all right. AJ for a second had me <laughs> tweaking. I'm like, wait, d- did he not? No, I, I was huh? just, I was just wondering if I was hearing that right because I, for some reason, I thought you just said the Adams family. Uh, uh, the Adam Adam Black Adam family. family. Yeah, I, I mean, Black. shit. Yeah, no, we we're we not gonna dark. sit here. We're not gonna sit here and act like Jenna Ortega wouldn't have made that movie better, <laughs> right? So you know, maybe she maybe that's what you're missing. <laughs> Um, but all right, guys, thank you guys so much uh, for tuning in to this all new episode of Much Ado About Something. Glad I got to break it down with my brothers here, man. We just, like I said, we want what's best for DC. We just want you to chart yourself to, to, to better waters. That's all I want guys. less Much Ado About Something's about DC going forward. <laughs> <laughs> unless it's a great, unless it's fun to talk about. Unless it's good news. Right, 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 right. Yes, because I feel like in this year alone, We've had maybe 17 much to do about DC something, focused. and none of them were good. <laughs> none of the, I think the best one was the more recent one of James Gunn and Peter getting the job. That might have been the best news we've gotten all year. Yeah. All year. That was great. Um, so just, you know, like I said, no one panic. You don't know anything yet. Regardless of what this article says, no think of it as you know nothing. Right. You know what's... You know the ingredients going in the pot, but you don't know how that shit will taste with, when it's finished yet, okay? Definitely. Let them finish cooking, all right? Let them finish cooking, and then you can judge it once the dish is done. Um, but thank you guys so much. Make sure you guys check out, uh, by the time this drops, uh, we'll have probably already been uh, getting ready to go live. Make sure you check out our live stream for the Game Awards. We'll have streamed it live on YouTube and Twitch. Um, and we fixed the problem because our last stream that we did on Twitch didn't save the Twitch. Mike fixed that, what? so we'll be good going forward. Um, <laughs> it's on YouTube. It's on YouTube, but it didn't save to Twitch. Um, but, funny. again, we're getting more into the Twitch world, so stay tuned for all that good stuff, guys. Um, and also enjoy the fact that this episode was not three hours. You're welcome. We love you guys, and until next time. <laughs> until next